is Kyle Hightower of the Orlando Sentinel. UCF came up a bit short in the South Tip Bending against Texas last week to open this new on-campus stadium. But the Knights carry a lot of momentum into this Saturday's game as they prepare to open their Conference USA schedule against Memphis. UCF coach George O'Leary is 2-0 against Tommy West's Tigers this time here at UCF, but faces a much different Tiger squad than the one he beat last season. Yes, Memphis is without star running back D'Angelo Williams, who has gone on to the NFL. But will the Tigers still have the same helter skelter, unpredictable offense has given many teams trouble and nearly earned them an upset against all Mississippi to open the season? The big story this week is in the Knights' own backyard. For the first time this season, O'Leary has decided to go with two quarterbacks. Starter Kyle Israel has had his moments, but has also struggled at times to leave the Knights' offense, especially on third down. So he'll split time with junior college transfer Michael Greco, who originally signed with NC State in 2005. Israel, who's usually known for his accuracy, has been off at times this season. Greco, a lefty, is known for his strong arm and ability to stretch the field. He doesn't know when Greco will get into the, will get into the game, O'Leary said. Both, both quarterbacks will definitely play. This report on the Knights, this is Kyle Hightower with the Orlando Sentinel.